This is code.org, and we have an elephant hippo battle going on here, I think. Roar! All right, displace. This type of sprite interaction is so common that there is a block for it. Sprite displace. Someone tried to use the sprite displace block to make the hippo, but there's a bug. Oh, okay. There's a bug down here. All right, find the line of code where the sprite display block is used and fix the error. So let's see. This is our new block, our sprite displace block. Now what is going on here? So if we want more info about a block, like always, I can hover and I can say see examples. This is a super handy way. This is how uh, many programming ID programming environments are set up that we can reference stuff in this manner. So I see displace. Okay. Bounce. Yep. It gives me some more info. Well, let's take a look at what's going on. So if the hippo on a function draw, the hippo displaced the elephant. Wait a minute here. The hippo displaced the elephant. Do we want the hippo to displace the elephant? Right? Think of displaces and like push. It's going to move. Should the hippo move the elephant? Or I think the elephant's supposed to move the hippo. Interaction is so come. Yep. Someone tried to use the displace block to make the elephant push the hippo. So we got to flip these, I think. Let's try Give that a shot. So now the elephant should be the one who can move the hippo. Roar! That's that's the elephant hippo war sound. I'm lying. <laughs> we did it. And see how much shorter this is than the if statement and all that other code we had? It's going to be super handy. Let's keep going.